Hello everyone, I'm T.C. Eckstein of T.C. Eckstein Cafe TV. Welcome to this year's season of new shows, of new promos, of new, new, new. We are starting a whole new schedule of events and bringing you all new information, new people, new opportunities, and new views. So, I'm glad you tuned in today. Get your coffee on, my brothers and sisters. We got ours. And um, we have in the studio today, special guest and partner, of course, Mr. Dion Soldier Ballard. And we're gonna sit and talk. We also have another guest coming in a little bit later. And I'm gonna keep that a secret for now. And uh, stay tuned because we have many, many more things happening, including the awards is definitely happening this year, and many performances we're gonna cover, and live events, and just great things going on in Springfield. And uh, since I have moved closer to Focus Springfield Television Station here in Springfield, Mass., things are going to be off the hook. We are going to really be right up and close because I'm in downtown now. So ain't no stopping me. What's, you tell me something's going on, TC's right there. So keep on watching. Stay tuned. I'm watching him perform at the table and I was like, I can, the only thing I can think of was like, Mike, do not cry at the table, Reed. Like, keep it together, dude. You haven't got to the set yet. So I turned to the right. I catch eyes with the real Corey, who was just letting tears flow so freely. And I, I, I knew then that I, I was in for a ride. I would say that this was the hardest shoot I've ever done um, out of all of the films and television uh, pieces that I've made um, because of the level of concentration that was required every single day. The subject matter was intense. It's five hours of of really um, dynamic material dealing with issues that a lot of us don't like to think about. And so to try to keep everyone every day focused, it was a, a challenge, but it was a joy at the same time. I remember the day the boys were taken from the courtroom, and it was heartbreaking for me. Not necessarily a big scene so much for my character, but to actually sit there and watch it and know that this happened to someone for nothing. It's painful. They're doing us like this. What other way they ever do us? You know, I'm challenged by the question uh, about Donald Trump and whether or not he'll watch the series because that's the least of my worries or of my intention. I think if we're preoccupied with what he's going to say or do, and we're not focused on this piece being the voice of five men who had their lives stripped from them um, because of injustices in our American criminal justice system, if you're watching to see Donald Trump, do not watch this. This is not about him. This is about black and brown lives mattering as they relate to people being incarcerated and living um, as formerly incarcerated citizens in this country. Netflix was wonderful and they gave me the opportunity to screen all four parts of the film for the men. We threw them out to Los Angeles um, and we watched them all back to back. Their reaction was so overwhelming to me that there's no award I've received or review I've received or any achievement that I've had. I remember in that moment thinking, well this is it. This is what everything I've learned in making films for the last 10 years. This is everything I've done, I've seen. It led up to this moment and this is their life story. Um, and it's more than their life story. It represents um, so much to so many people. And so for them to um, bless it, give it their blessing at the end, with so much emotion, tears, hugs, um, was uh, as good as it's probably going to get. And if that's the case, I love it. Getting to meet the five men, I just think it's a blessing to know them, to learn from them, and to hear them speak. So. Just knowing them, uh, I'm so grateful for that. And as well as everyone I'm working with. I mean, I feel so young and fresh all the time. And I feel, <laughs> like, uh, I, feel like, I feel like I don't know what's going on. Am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? I, I take that all on my head and I kind of look around and I see where I'm at. And I could cry thinking about the fact that I'm sitting in between these people right here. Because I grew up watching them. I grew up inspired by them. And to just sit right here in this moment, 
Mama, I did it. The initial meeting that I had with Ava, you don't know this, but the other side of her, besides being an extremely talented human being, she doesn't play. And I thought that, you know, <laughs> body that, right? Wrapping up with the check and, I'm, and, then she, and then she got to the real work of, you know, she asked me, who are you? That question forced me to, uh, to look in myself as a human being, as a man. I left thinking that I, I don't, didn't think, I didn't know if I had the job or not. And I, I told myself, if she gives me the opportunity, I was going to go as deep as, as she, as, she, as I could possibly go as deep as she needed me to go. And then to, to have the opportunity to meet these five men, being a black man from New York City, having easily, I could have been that. Being called to do this on the level that I was asked to do it on, I, I was called to action. And it's about service, it's about going back to my community and getting with the young people, making sure that this never happens again. But, you know, that was, that's today. Yeah, that's today. But in 1989, they used that term to say they were wiling in yeah, the park yeah, that yeah. night and they raped this woman, right. but they had nothing to do with it. There's no DNA and all. So you got to see it, though. I ain't going to say no see more. I don't see it. No. I it's have so to see deep. it. I'm so It's so sorry. deep. I'm no, you'll, you'll see it, though. Oh, but. wow. So, yeah, I just had to see if you, I, I thought by now you'd see it because I, I know. told you why. I know you did. <laughs> but, yeah, when you see it, you're going to, you're going to. You're gonna. You know I love stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, and we'll we'll get back like yeah, we said. We'll we get back and talk come, about uh, it. So. That. But yeah, I got some jazz performances um, coming up. Um, but we're gonna when those come up, I will have them put on the show. I'm not gonna say the predates now and stuff because they tend to change. You know, yeah, something yeah. comes up yeah. and it's like, oh, we changed it to this, or it's gonna be that, or it's gonna be with different in, uh, musicians playing, or right. so. But I also am going to be doing some stuff at WTCC Radio soon. That's so right. stay tuned for that because uh, in the jazz department, I'm going to be working side by side, helping out with Stu Hibbert in uh, honor of my brother, Richard Eckstein, and his memory. So yeah, Ricky, this one's for you. We're going to do WTCC Radio. That's right. Get that jazz. Get that jazz out there like you did before. Good jazz to you. <laughs> yeah. Good jazz to you. Good music. Yeah, good. Yeah, like that's Rick right. Grant used yeah, I to know, say right. that. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, well, I, I want to ask you a question. Yeah, sure. How do you land a wonderful spread in a magazine? Oh boy. And I read it. It was. <laughs> how do you do that? I want to know. See. Listen. She pulled the tricks out the bag. <laughs> okay. That like, was. That was not me. That was, that was not I, you? I was wondering. Well, okay, you know my girl, Cookie Humphrey. Yes, I do. And she's the manager of MC Shaw Rock, who, by the way, is the very first female yeah, MC hip-hop rapper. And a lot of people don't know that. Like, Netflix put out um, Roxanne, yeah, Roxanne, 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 yeah. Like, before Roxanne, before. Roxanne was the Funky Four Plus One More. The Plus One More was MC <laughs> Shaw Rock. She was the first, if you watch the movie Beat Street, MC Shy Rock is rapping in the movie. Right. And um, she was before Queen Latifah. She Wait before for all of them. And like, she finally was, you know, honored and they, she's put in the Museum of mm -hmm. Hip Hop and everything. And Queen Latifah had her on VH1 and everything. Things are blowing up for her now. Well, Let's guess get... what? Finally, her movie is coming out. They're working right. on it right now. And this girl, me and her, that's my girl. That's my girl mm -hmm. from New York, you know. Back mm -hmm. on, back when I hung out in New York, I met <laughs> Eric B and Rakim. And you, you know, if you ever just walk down the street and you went and shopping in the yeah, Wiz right. or, you know, where Virgin Records, yeah, you ran right, into right. the store, the, the right. celebrities were walking right. around because if you lived in New York, celebrities didn't care. They right. walk around New York like nothing. Right. I mean, you know, the hood celebrities, it yeah, was like, yeah. Celebrity, what are you talking about? I'm yeah. going to see my peeps. That's they right, didn't that's care, right, so that's everybody right. knew everybody. But um, MC Shy Rock, um, she's just doing so well. She's getting what's due hers. Yeah. And Cookie Humphrey has been faithfully managing her for years, but she has this very 
prominent magazine called Compulsive with some very big name stars that are featured in Yeah, I'm going to start looking out for yeah. it. Yeah, and we, we've got the launch party footage, so it's going to be oh. on TCX9 Cafe. You'll see it in between some <laughs> of the videos. And Inspirational people and lovers of fashion came out to celebrate the launch of Compulsive magazine, which can now be found on magazine stands near you. It's an international magazine. It focuses on real stories with real people. So the stories you'll find in there are a lot uh, about everyday life by everyday people. It's not celebrity driven. So the content is strong. Landing her cover spot on the premiere of Compulsive Magazine is Tamika Murphy, who is well known for her suit line, Alani Taylor. Uh, yes, my brand is called Alani Taylor. It's named after my daughter, um, which I started two years ago after my daughter was born. Um, and her name just fit. It just was elegant sound, you know. And I was already doing streetwear. Um, I had a brand um, prior to Alani Taylor called Prodigy Life. And once my daughter was born, for some reason, like, God geared me towards starting a high fashion line. And her name just fell into it. Um, and I can honestly say, like, that's when I really became passionate about what I do. Because now I'm not just doing something for me and other people. I'm leaving a legacy for my daughter. And on the cover of Compulsive Summer Edition is Oba Babatunde, who starred in shows such as The Bold and The Beautiful, and where I know him best from, Dear White People. You know what? I'm so honored, firstly, to be on the magazine. It's a fabulous magazine. It really is first class. It's, a lot of people don't realize that it's an international magazine. So it's around the world. And that I was being chosen to be able to be the cover story for this new issue. I am honored. They gave me an opportunity to express my joy and to shed some light on my career of four and a half decades. The content in Compulsive Magazine touches the emotions from people of all walks of life. From Hollywood to Harlem, we can all indulge in the stories shared from people like you and I. Not only did Compulsive Magazine celebrate the launch of their magazine debuting in stores, but they also celebrated community heroes with Inspired by You Awards. Joa McNally, who will be featured in Compulsive's next issue, gives us a sneak peek of what the interview will be about. So again, the interview is going to be about Colin Kaepernick um, and the protest that he led. Um, I felt very moved to write something about him being a civil rights leader, like a Martin Luther King or a Muhammad Ali of our time. And so the interview is going to be about my motivations behind writing the book and, you know, where I stand with the NFL and what I think about, you know, Colin Kaepernick's protest. So I'm excited about that. Compulsive Magazine's launch party was filled with energy and plenty of fashion icons. To see exclusive pictures from tonight's event, follow Compulsive Mags on Instagram. I should be reporting for BronxNet TV. Uh, I don't I can't name all the actors but you're gonna know they're familiar faces you've seen in several films and stuff okay. but anyway be, you know Cookie Humphrey we go way back she used to originally live in Springfield but she's from Mount Vernon and I told you, oh, you know, when I stayed in yeah, New Rochelle yeah, yeah. with my cousin Beverly okay. my mom's from Mount Vernon it's Mount Vernon and New Rochelle oh yeah money Mount earning Mount Vernon money earning Mount, Mount Vernon, Vernon. Yes. oh I know about me I used to live in the BX yeah, yeah. Oh, I used to live so in the BX. She's from there. there. She's from there. No. But she's in Dubai now. So she's back and forth to New oh, York. Oh, that Dubai. Oh, she's, she's, she's in, making she's moves. She's doing there. it, yes. She's making moves. Yeah, and that magazine is blowing up. So I love um, that magazine, by the way. When I won nationals for Go Red, she said, that I'm going to feature you in the magazine and the health division, okay. but we're going to do a whole spread on you with your jazz music and all the stuff you're doing. Awesome. Got to get it. I was like, oh my God. You know, I was like, wow. So. Um, that actually came out in March. It's the Spring Edition magazine. And it took me this long to get a hold of it because it sold out so quick. And I put pre-orders in for it, but mm -hmm. somehow it was a mix-up and I didn't get mine. But they're sending it to me now. But one of the other girls, she's in New York City. Okay. She's featured in the magazine and she hit me up and 
she said, I'm going to pick you one up because you can get it easily in New York. They have it on the, the book stands. You know, in New York, you go to the newspaper oh, yeah, yeah. stands all, all, and all, all that. All, all so she says she's going to get me one. I told oh, my cousin man. that when you go into the city, just grab one. But now they just... They're coming out with the summer edition, and MC Shy Rock's on the cover. Yeah, of the oh, I gotta get edition. one too. Uh, so if the summer edition is coming out, it's hard to grab the spring one. Right. But the spring is online, so I'll I'll give you the link so you can look it up and yeah, you can really see the nice. article. But I'm very pleased and I'm very thrilled. And they, uh, the man that did it, his name is. Rasun Fasul. I may be pronouncing it wrong, but it, the spread is done. That was the person that wrote the article, and but it's big ups to come Cookie Humphrey, and um, big up Cookie Humphrey. Yeah, and it, I'm ups. just it, a great article. I, I mean, even good I job. read it, and I'm like, wow, I didn't even know I sound that good. <laughs> but you know, it's you mm. never know your blessings. You I never know. know, you know. Yeah. And and I'm just thankful and grateful, and I'm blessed to be, still be here fighting heart disease right. and making people aware of it. And as you all know, we keep that information flowing through right. TCX9 Cafe to keep you aware and on top of your health. Every month is a different theme of right. something to be aware of, right. whether fighting stroke or learning CPR. Every month we got a different thing, and we try to incorporate that into the TCX9 Cafe. I told the doctor about the symptoms I was experiencing, and she said, well, maybe it's just stress. Those symptoms came back one night and woke me up out of my sleep, but this time it was not just my arm, or it wasn't just my neck. My chest was bothering me, I had hot flashes, I felt sick to my stomach, and I told my husband something is seriously wrong. I was having a massive heart attack at the age of 40. I remember my husband sitting there and he was just as scared as I was. The cardiologist says, we have no time to wait. We need to get you back immediately. And they rushed me back. I don't even remember saying bye to my husband. I don't remember, I don't remember words, you know, telling him stuff to tell my children. No goodbyes. Just, all of this was new to me. Heart disease doesn't discriminate. It doesn't care about your size. Know your numbers, know the signs, and call 911, don't die of doubt. By working together with the American Heart Association and Go Red for Women, we will raise awareness and fund critical research that will save the lives of our mothers, our sisters, our daughters, and friends. Open your heart, let's unite to prevent heart disease and stroke. Prioritize your health, focus on your future, go red and get fit. I go red because I will continue to live a full life thanks to women's heart research. This is not something to be ashamed of and if it happens to you, there's a growing support network of people here to help you through that journey. I am where I am today because I did not give up and I stayed strong. You can do it. There's a will, there's a way. Being a part of this has helped me to get through this kind of scary process and meet some amazing people and share my story and hopefully prevent this situation from happening to anybody else. Take action, knowing something and doing something is completely different. You have to put yourself on your priority list. Let's unite to prevent heart disease and stroke. So remember, um, weekly, the episodes are on Focus Springfield Community TV, Fridays at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you live in Springfield, Massachusetts. And if not, you can catch us on Ustream.tv. TC Eckstein Cafe. It usually follows by the month slash the month you're in slash the month coming up and then the year. So just if you go on Ustream.tv and type in TC Eckstein Cafe TV, 
and right now it's July slash August 2019. That'll be up in a couple of days, which by the time I'm done airing this, it'll be edited and everything. Yeah, everything. So that's how you catch it. But it's TCX Night Cafe TV. And usually the links are on Facebook. We put them on the TV show page. We have a blog spot page. We have Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're on everything. everything. So you'll find us. And um, if not, you're you can always just go right to Facebook and type in TCX Nine Cafe TV, yep. and all the links are right there, and that's oh. how you catch us. And me and Dion are interlinked with what we do. Uh, Everything. He's enlisted so, soldiers. Yeah. He's enlisted media. Yeah, enlisted media. Yeah, we are enlisted yeah. media. And spoken com. revelations. Yeah, yeah, and spoken revelations. Yeah, but we're tied yeah. in together. Yeah, we tied in together. And so um, I post way. stuff on my page from yeah. him, and on his pages he posts my stuff. So yeah. you know you'll catch all of it. All and then, of it. Um, <laughs> But the spirit give birth to spirit Yo, you gotta be born again I tell you the truth, no one Born again Can't enter the kingdom unless he's Born again Flesh give birth to flesh But the spirit give birth to spirit Yo, you gotta be You haven't lost the vision when others do Just make sure you never close your eyes Because procession is only bound by its beholder Branches lose leaves while fruits decompose on the ground Will this make a tree less valuable if its roots are still not intact? So don't lose faith in your dreams. Every year we have a season to harvest. Born again. I tell you the truth, no one. Born again. Can't enter the kingdom unless he's born again. Flesh give birth to flesh, but the spirit give birth to spirit. Yo, you gotta be born again. I tell you the truth, no one. Born again. Can't enter the kingdom unless he's born again. Flesh give birth to flesh, but the spirit give birth to spirit. Yo, you gotta be. When your sight is in full bloom to reap its benefits from your upcoming season of love, born again, season they prepare for all greatness. Trading doubts from parallel into perpendicular because you're crossing the threshold of your real purpose to enjoy your life. Mediocrity and strife complaining what's about and right not right. When others you allow to instruct your motives and jepters. Forgetting about our seasons that change, and yet people also do too. A time for love and also for pain. A moment for cleansing when all you once had purified will become stained. The important is to remember it's only for a season. That your visions are a celestial reason. So don't allow others to form treason. Born again. Born again. I tell you the truth, no one born again. can enter the kingdom unless he's born again. Flesh give birth to flesh, but the spirit give birth to spirit. Yo, you gotta be born again. I tell you the truth. No one born again can enter the kingdom unless he's born again. Flesh give birth to flesh, but the spirit give birth to spirit. Yo, you gotta be. Yeah, because yeah. since since we won, I won the award for uh, um, I'm a soldier. I know. The you know what? You, I was about to talk about that. <laughs> T, you know that song is a blessing. Oh, to me, oh, the way yeah. that you you have such anointing on your voice oh, when you sang that you. it really touched my soul. Oh, to hear yeah, that song. you and Toy, like I couldn't believe all the feedback I got on it it's when amazing. I recorded it, and I was like. I was just feeling it that day and I started yeah. writing and I just said, wow, let me just throw this on here and record it and it just, you know, it's, I don't know. It, it really, it just, you know, I love your music, but that song just stands out. It just, it seems like it's just another uh, genre that you have, mm -hmm. you know, um, Well, you know, I did you know. the gospel 
modern gospel music in the Kevin Sharp group for like six years. I was oh, with okay. him for six years. But I, before that, I was in funk bands. I was in, um, I did, I, mean, yeah, I was in all sorts of stuff, yeah. you know, but, but I finally settled in with the jazz, my roots, where I come from. But um, yeah, I'm very versatile. But you know, when I'm do when I do a gospel song, I put my, my foot in it because you do. You, she really does. Yeah, I, I can't mess yeah. with it unless I'm feeling it That's spiritually. Right. That's right. And um, you know, your words, soul, ja, yeah, yeah, like yeah, you know, derivative yeah. of soldier, but yeah. S O U L J A Y. Mm -hmm. um, I just had to put that in there because it's like I am your soul, mm -hmm. Jer. That's right. And um, it just I just sang on it. And, um, I'm glad the song won an award. It's yeah. uh, one of the first music awards I got for a gospel song by itself right in, Christian, by itself. in the Christian and gospel category. It's an amazing um, song. I want to, you know, I won an award for a gospel jazz CD, uh, mm -hmm. the Joy Joy in the Sea. The Joy in the Sea. But that's a gospel jazz CD. Yeah, yeah. This song is strictly just gospel. So I'm very happy that it did. I'm happy too. Yeah, um, it's like a wow. A lot of good things happening. <laughs> a lot of good things are happening. Stay tuned. Yeah. It's going to yeah. be a lot more stuff that's going to happen too. But yeah, it's starting off good, right, uh, TZ? It sure is. It's starting off real <laughs> sure good. Sure is. So you I all stay tuned. It, it's a blessing. Yeah. It's definitely a blessing. <laughs> you know. But that song definitely touched my heart, oh, and, and it touched a lot of other people's hearts. So wow. I'm, I wasn't by myself. Wow. So, you know, Toya was like, oh, my goodness, <laughs> just so help me. Yeah, I said, she wrote yeah. me that she said, that. and I, you know, Toy, her opinion is like up there. Yeah, she it don't is. give you dap unless you, something's she good. So she for really her to give it. me dap, yeah. I said, what? <laughs> that must be good because yeah. Toy don't be saying nothing. I she know, don't say I nothing. And she liked it. So I said, <laughs> okay, I got to keep on with this. But, you know, right now I'm, I'm. I still haven't got that nudge, like you know me. I when right. I get that nudge I know you do. and I get on a yeah. streak, right. then you know I run with it. I know you Albums do. just pop I know. Up. I, know. <laughs> I know. But it's Personally, coming. I it's work coming. with you. Yes. I work with it's you. I'm coming. like, you gonna, I give TC the lyrics, and she's like, boom, make the whole song just out of it. Out. Like, Look and everything. Yeah, I'm like, wow. I'm like, Dion, I'm on a roll. Give me some spoken word. And he'll throw me some spoken word. Jeez. And then I'm like, boom, I turn it into lyrics. Yeah. And then Dion, check this out. And you're like, what? That's what you did with my poem? Oh, my God. And it's like, but we work so good together. Yeah, we and do. Right we do. now, I have like four of them written. Yeah. But since, oh, wow. I, since I moved, I didn't have the chance to like record. Okay. So I'm, well, getting, I'm getting comfortable. Yeah, yeah get and when, comfortable. Yeah, when the vibe hits yeah. and I find, and I've got, right. I need it radio ready. Right. Because I want it when it hits out there to, not, I'm not care about mainstream. Yeah, I yeah. just want it so the quality is so good because all my people are telling me, send it to me, we'll play it on my radio right, station. Right. My radio, my radio, radio, radio. Not just radio, but just, you know, you want that good, good quality. Good quality if yeah, I'm going to yeah, put right. it out there, I want it to be Dolby, stereo, right, right, right. pow, you know. So, right. um, just a little bit patience, y'all. Yeah. Because we're well, going to do it right. Yeah, yeah exactly. it's, coming. it's coming. Yeah. It's coming. And shout out to my girl, uh, Studio Rebels, um, Jillian Beth, Miss Jillian Beth, my daughter in law. Mm -hmm. um, she's doing her graphic arts business. And hit her up at studiorebels.com if you need your business or anything you're working on CDs, music, uh, covers, even the awning for your building if you're right. opening a new business she can design it for you yep. i shared a lot of them yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and keep an eye on my yeah. son blacksmith the oh rapper. yeah he's doing good he's too. got some things popping off and some good music videos and the works and everything too so wow. yeah stay Blessing tuned for the whole that. family yeah that's how it is yeah we got we God keep first. it moving we keep yeah, you it do. moving yeah <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. But we're going to head up out of here, y'all. You guys have a great day. we got to get ready for our next guest who's coming on in, in a little while. Yep. So um, you stay tuned. Remember to keep watching TCX9 Cafe TV and get your coffee on, my brothers and sisters. This is TC and Dion Soldier Ballard signing off today, telling you have a blessed one. Take care. Peace. Peace.